Jan, you remain very, very optimistic about the consumer and retailer in the second half of the year. Why? The Grinch is not going to steal Christmas. Okay. The tariffs aren't going to steal Christmas. If we do have an impact from the tariffs, it will be compressing margins. It will not be raising prices to the consumer, which could be a little scary. But there's just not enough there unless we see a whole heck of a lot come through on the tariffs. Yeah, side. because, you know, it's funny you say that we were talking about China and maybe the possible devaluation of their currency. I'm thinking that would be the greatest gift to the U.S. consumer. There actually may be an upside yes. to the trade war talk because products may get cheaper due to currency swings, correct? Yes, and, and I don't think the tariff side is all that frightening. We're already moving a lot of the kind of stuff that I talk about out of China, right? It's going to Vietnam and Sri Lanka. Well, it was in Mexico. It was, it was in America, then it was in Mexico. Now it's in China, and capital goes toward its price least. Yes. So it may be in Laos or Bangladesh or back to Mexico. So that would accelerate that trend, but we're not going to see rising prices to any extent as a result of this. And I personally think that this is just a negotiating tactic and it'll probably all work itself out. But even if it doesn't, I don't think it's going to change. Things every mall, much. every store on the Philadelphia, from Philadelphia to Boston that you have seen that I've seen is packed. But this is not America. America is a lot bigger than just the Northeast corridor. Any indication of how the rest of the country is doing? Business is very, very good. May was probably the best month for my kind of retail sales that we've seen all year. It may be the best month we do see all year because May last year was slow. And so we've seen this very good surge. June hasn't been quite as good as May around the country, but May was very good. But when we get to the back half, come on, everybody's working. There's more people, there's more jobs than people looking for jobs. Wages are rising. The tax cut wasn't in last fourth quarter. The tax cut will be in this fourth quarter. The consumer has more money to spend, and the retailers are pushing that tax cut back to the consumer. But this is largely, though, Jan, not to interrupt this, largely, here's the problem with retail. You could make all those arguments about the consumer. A lot of these retailers have been dumb. It's, they've gone in good economies, and we're still seeing bankruptcies because they haven't managed their inventory. They've got the wrong product mix. It's not just about one side. The store also has to not be run by nincompoops. That's all true, and the nincompoops got to be much less nincompoopy in the fourth quarter of this past year. Inventories were really, really good. Assortments were really, really good. We finally got online right. Buy online, pick up in store, and all that stuff started working. So we saw a really strong fourth quarter yeah. because we ran the business better. Now, that won't change the fact that we'll have more stores closed this year than ever in history. We'll have more bankruptcies again this year than ever in history in retail. That's what I'm talking but about. We're still going to have more retail bankruptcies despite all the positive stuff that you mentioned. Hey, okay, a lot of, some of our viewers and listeners may be thinking, guess what? I like what that Kniffin guy has to say, but how do I make money on this? Give us a good way, a trend, a store, a theme, somehow, where we can profit off what you're saying. I'm a huge fan right now of basically all of the strong brands. Strong brands win, third-party sellers of brands lose. Michael Kors is going to have a really good back half, and they're going to have a good next 18 months. They're a winner. PVH is a winner. Phillips Van Heusen, the old Phillips Van Heusen. PBH. Tapestry, which is coach. The old coach. Is a winner. Not the Carol King album. And I think Ralph Lauren is a winner. You think RL? Because I think they're coming What are they back. doing right? Well, They never really do stuff wrong, do they? It's just degrees of correct. They got over-distributed. They had some issues with their silos and running their various brands. They're fixing all of that. And they're behind Tapestry and they're behind... Michael Kors, getting all that done. Now, Kors are... But they're Kors, getting it done. Kors, Michael Kors, not the beer. Michael Kors and Tapestry largely compete with each other. Can they both win? Oh, yes, as long as the consumer's strong. And the consumer is going to be strong. And we're seeing a resurgence finally again in accessories. Yeah. That always happens when you start to see a change in fashion. Denim's coming back. The tops that go with denim are coming back. Therefore, the shoes and the bags are okay. because athleisure and athletic is not quite as strong as it was. So we're seeing this return to more real clothes, even Thank a goodness. return to investment dressing clothes. And we're seeing the biggest growth in resale that's ever happened. It's a $25 billion business. Only 9 million people shopped retail in 2016. 44 million people shopped the wow. resale business in 2017. So you can finally throw out those Lycra pants you've been walking around in. And you know, Thank I goodness. finally got That's rid of great. all that stuff and Good I'm news moving on, on to investment dressing. Clothes there we go. Here. Tapestry, Coors, PVH, Ralph Lauren. And we noticed Nike in there as well. Jan Rogers, Kniffin, have a great day. <laughs>
Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.